Hi there, welcome to this week's episode of the Heart of a Youth Leader, weekly podcasts for all those involved in youth and children's work in our churches. I wonder what you do when uh, you see someone who looks like someone else. You know that thing when you're walking down the street and you walk past someone and think, is that Dave? That can't be Dave. What would he be doing in Leamington? And then of course it's not Dave. Uh, but it's just his doppelganger, someone who looks the spitting image or very similar. Or even, have you had that moment when you've been walking down the street and you pass someone on the opposite side of the road who looks a bit like Sophie uh, and your friend Sophie and you haven't seen Sophie for quite a while and you're like, is that Sophie? And then as you get closer, you think, no, it's not at all like Sophie, but it's just that she came to mind uh, as you see it. Well, um, a friend of mine told me a long time ago, whenever you see that, person maybe it's the Lord prompting you to pray for them and so whenever I see someone who looks like someone it makes me go well Lord let me pray for Dave let me pray for Sophie whatever may be going on maybe this is your way of getting my attention for them and you want me to to intercede for them and bring them before you Uh, and then if I can if I'm good I'll I'll send them a text a bit after going look you came to mind today I hope everything's going well just want to let you know I was praying for God's blessing for you. The great thing about that, I think, is whenever I get a text similar to that, Andy, you were on my heart, just been praying, is everything okay? It is such an encouragement. It's such an encouragement, one, because if, if everything is all right, because it's just nice to know that someone was thinking of you. It's nice to know someone was praying for you. It's nice to know that someone was listening to God on your behalf. Uh, and secondly, there's been times when actually it's been actually, no, not everything's okay. Uh, and, and I really am grateful for you listening to the Lord and being obedient uh, and just standing with me uh, and being able to just tell them a bit about what's going on. Uh, and so this, I've made it my thing that if I see someone who makes, if someone comes to mind because of something, then I'll pray for them. Just a quick bl- prayer of blessing. Uh, and uh, I think we need to get into this habit with our, our ministry and our youth work. Uh, whenever whenever we're preparing, as we think of a different young person, just pray for them right there and then. Whenever we're we're thinking in our you know it's in our staff meeting and it's a bit dull and someone else comes to mind, just pray for them there and then. Uh, and it takes me back to these words from Philippians chapter one, Paul's letter to the church in Philippi, uh, starting in verse three. It says, "I thank my God every time I remember you, in all my prayers for all of you." I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I'm like, isn't that a great encouragement of how to pray for people when we don't know what to pray? Whenever they come to mind, thank God for them and pray with joy because of because of their partnership in the gospel uh, and that whatever good work God has started in them, he will bring to completion. Uh, And so we can pray that blessing. And and I believe we can pray that blessing for those who don't yet know Jesus because God is working in everyone's lives. He's just waiting for them to open the door to see what he's doing. Uh, And so we we can still thank God for this young person, this teenager. And we can say, Lord, we know you're doing stuff help him to notice, help him to see what you're doing, help him to open the door on your blessings uh, and would, would your good work come to completion uh, and just move on. Uh, and I, and I, I think it's helpful for my heart. You know, Proverbs 4 says, above all else, guard your heart. Uh, and, uh, and I think the more we are praying for others, the better our heart condition. The more we're looking at other people, the more we're looking to bless and to pray and to serve other people, the better the state of our heart. Because as we looked at last week, love is about loving others. It's not about loving myself. Love is about giving and serving, not gathering and getting. Uh, and so, so this week, it's whenever someone comes to mind, whether it's a cousin, whether it's your best friend you haven't seen, whether it's someone from your school and your childhood that comes to mind, just pray God's blessing on them. Say, Lord, I don't know what they're doing, but you do. And they've come into my mind, so I'm, I'm just praying for them. And let's become a praying people. We don't always have to have big to-do lists or task lists or wish lists to take to God. 
He just wants to hear our prayers and he wants to know what's on our minds and on our hearts. So, so let's join with Paul and be able to say, I thank my God every time I remember you. So, so when you walk past someone who just is the spitting image of someone else, thank God for that moment. Thank God for that opportunity. And don't rush past. Don't just go, oh, no, it wasn't. I'm just going to get on with what I was doing. I'm going to go into Tesco's or whatever you're doing. Actually, take a moment while you're walking just to thank God for that reminder of people in your life. Uh, and it may be that it's someone who you've not seen in years. Maybe it's a young person who you haven't seen since before the pandemic. And maybe you just need to send them a postcard or a text or a whatever uh, and say, hey, just you came to mind, just wondering how you're doing, haven't seen you, would love to catch up. Uh, and who knows how, how the Holy Spirit might be working through us in those situations and what might come. At, at worst, you, you make them feel loved. At best, you might actually be able to help them in a difficult situation that who knows what they're going through. So, so just be obedient to those promptings of the Spirit. Be obedient to those people who God brings to your mind and start to realise that actually maybe it's not just me thinking of these people. Maybe God's brought them to my, to the, my attention for a purpose. Maybe, because we're supposed to go through our, our lives with others, aren't we? Following Jesus is a family thing. It's not a solo sport. This isn't, this isn't running the 100 metres on our own. This is being part of the football team, being part of uh, the team that's really gathered around each other. Uh, and so maybe these people come to our minds for a reason. Uh, so let's be bold. Let's pray for blessing and let's thank God for them. And as we do that, we will be filled with joy. So if you're feeling low, look outwards. Look, who can I pray for? Who can I bless? Who, Lord, do you want me to think of this morning or this day? Uh, and, and just pray, because the more we thank God for other people, the, the, the more the, the joy within us starts to rise to the, the surface. Uh, and, it's, and it's just so exciting. So that's my challenge for this week. Uh, be, be on your watch, be on your lookout for whoever God randomly brings into your mind and thank God for them. Go for it.